today we are gonna look at our spark okay so we start off with uh, the spark uh, information and installation of uh, of spark okay we are gonna go to this link this link uh, is the introduction of the spark and the information on the RDD which is uh, important uh, data uh, structure used by uh, spark okay so you go to this link we are gonna open up this web page okay that I summarize information on spark okay so first of all okay is the uh, introduction on the spark RDD okay RDD is the uh, data uh, storage okay for the spark okay which can be parallelized okay and um, we're gonna need to uh, to, to wrap up our data use okay uh, into the uh, RDD type okay um, so I can interface the uh, many kinds of um, uh, uh, data source for example like HDFS okay uh, HBase okay uh, uh, Hive okay or local uh, file system okay in the example below we are going to work on the HDFS uh, file system okay so here are some basic uh, information okay, on 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 uh, the uh, about the Spark. Okay, first thing is uh, Spark uh, use the 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 transformation where we uh, uh, call it lazy transformation. Okay, um, lazy lazy transformation means it's going to op uh, compute uh, the operation only when it is needed okay try is try to delay the, uh, the transformation okay um, the storage okay uh, it use okay uh, it uses storage in the cache okay so that's why uh, people always say uh, it is the in memory um, operation okay so the data that it uh, use is loaded into the memory and it's operate okay the uh, the query about the data okay, in in memory and uh, cache here is a kind of a photo lens uh, a type of cache also okay the the RED that uh, that is um, used okay um, is allow us to do um, some sort of uh, parallelizing okay uh, data uh, partitioning okay in order to um, uh, speed up okay the the computations okay so here are some of the example okay of reading okay uh, the local uh, uh, to the uh, HDFS of uh, uh, data for example in the readme file and you can also operate on uh, map reduce okay using some simple command okay like this okay so uh, this is example in uh, Scala okay, language okay you can do some mapping here and you can do the reduce okay here so the two lines here will operate the uh, map reduce okay only map reduce okay that we do um, in Java you notice that this is very easy uh, uh, to use okay rather than we write um, the complicated program okay in um, Java example okay so it's only two lines here um, the type of transformation okay in uh, spark okay we divide into map and reduce uh, reduce is a kind of action okay so we have the transformation uh, which is a map operation okay so that is one example you can use the map operation okay and you can also uh, do some action okay that is to use the uh, reduce operation here so these are some uh, simple example okay you can notice that um, we have a lot of comments here and we are um, going to learn it okay um, um, later on okay we have um, also some other uh, thing for example like chair variable okay broadcast variable okay so these are 
uh, to help okay for distributing uh, variable okay among um, um, many many traits okay or many uh, uh, nodes okay and special kind of variable for example like accumulators okay So we're gonna uh, look more detail on the QE language, okay, on the Spark. We use the web page here, okay, that tells us about uh, the QE language of Spark, okay. And one thing that uh, we are going to focus on, okay, um, uh, next is on the PySpark, which is the Python interface, okay, to the Spark uh, engine. Okay, and we are gonna operate on the data frame, which is the Python data frame. Okay, that you may uh, be familiar on. Okay, that uh, will help us on the uh, programming a lot. Okay, and one thing that we are going to do next also is on the Spark uh, uh, streaming, so we can. Uh, stream the data, okay, online data, okay, uh, using the Spark, okay, so that is the guide for the Spark streaming, and the guide for the Spark, uh, Spark um, uh, machine learning, okay, library, so it's here. So let's start off with the installation, okay, first, okay, as we go along, okay, we're gonna learn more on the command. So you look at the web page on the Spark download. Okay, there are many uh, version that you can use. Okay, and uh, the latest version okay is three point Okay, and uh, we gonna look through the preview version for uh, our Hadoop. Actually, our Hadoop is three point two. Okay, so you can download the latest release. Okay. Uh, which is uh, Spark at 3.0 and uh, uh, for the Hadoop 3.2. So you download link. You download link is here. Okay. So I I have downloaded it. Okay, in my uh, 100 machine. Okay, already. Here is uh, my download. Okay, and um, next, okay, you're gonna tie it. Okay, untie the file. Okay, here, and after that, we're gonna change. Okay, the name of the folder. Okay, because after we untie it, we're gonna get this folder name, and then uh, we change it to a simple name called Spark. Okay. So that is that's it for the installation. So actually, I have done it. Okay, so I have the folder Spark now. So I see the change directly to Spark. Okay, and then okay, we can start the Spark shell. Okay, so Spark shell is in bin directory, so you can export uh, bin a binary uh, directory a little bit. So you will see a lot of command that we, we will use, for example, PySpark, okay, uh, Spark shell that is interface, uh, interactive mode, and Spark submit, okay, is to run the Java uh, program, okay, Spark SQL is to run the QE on top, uh, SQL QE on top, okay, so we'll uh, start off with the Spark shell command. So then you're gonna get this prompt. Okay, this prompt is uh, the Spark and the, the Kerlin version. Okay, under the JDK. So um, the command we use okay in Spark uh, is going to be uh, the Scala uh, version. Okay, so we'll try a simple example. Okay, in here first. 
you can also start off the spark shell okay when you want to run for example in four core so you say minus minus master and local and followed by the number of cores so let's start with defining variable okay call data so we uh, have the data variable and we iterate it okay so that is the definition okay and then okay we gonna create the rdg okay the resilient uh, distributed um, uh, of the spark so using uh, the uh, parallelize so that sc is a spark uh, context okay so after you uh, uh, open the spark shell okay you're gonna have the spark context okay called sc Okay, now we use the our spark. We have only one spark contact. It's a kind of global global name. Okay, and we use spark contact. Okay, with the parallelized uh, uh, method. Okay, to wrap up our data. Okay, it. So that is we parallelize, uh, we wrap up our data okay, using the our um, Spark uh, RDD. Okay. And then now uh, we're going to do some operation okay, on the data. So notice that all these things, okay, we have not uh, done any execution yet. So we start off now using the data, our data uh, variable. Uh, we're gonna perform our query which is to filter the data that is less than 10 okay and now <coughs> we're gonna do some um, action that is collect okay so that it will display the result okay filter is a kind of uh, map operation so it's a kind of transform so we don't really have the result yet Okay, now we want to see the result. We're gonna call the action uh, operation, the category of action operation. Okay, uh, it is um, for example like collect, uh, take. Okay, there are uh, uh, some uh, set of uh, method. Okay, in the action. Okay, that we will need. Okay, so we can browse to the menu of the spark. Okay, so here are. The information about the uh, uh, category. Okay, let's see the uh, category on on the command. Just in case I uh, have uh, some uh, summarize uh, 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 commands okay, for the Spark and some um, information on the Spark, so you can browse through the attachment down below okay so for this one okay it's a short summary okay uh, that uh, explain about the spark okay so why we need uh, uh, why we need spark okay because uh, some problem on the map reduce okay in Hadoop that we use okay the problem the important problem is it operate on the disk which is slower than uh, mem in memory work so um, people invented uh, the idea of using the spark okay so it's a general purpose uh, ma processing machine okay and um, it define a set of operation okay uh, so we call uh, transformation and actions in here not just only map reduce okay it's open source it support three languages okay and uh, important uh, data uh, construct okay that is rdd that stands for resilient distributed data set okay so we're gonna need to wrap up our data okay in this uh, uh, rdd and another thing is uh, the data frame concept okay that is recently added and data set concept okay is uh, that I use okay very often especially for data frame we use a lot in Python um, so here are some definition on RDD so it's resilient uh, 
distributed okay data set okay so that is uh what it stand for okay so resilient mean fault tolerance okay so that try to remain the concept of fault tolerance uh, just like in a uh, map reduce um, Hadoop uh, file system okay can we compute the missing or damaged partition of the uh, of the data okay do some node failure so that is uh, the fault tolerance feature okay distributed mean we can distribute the data partition okay inside uh, in in our data okay with our data can be partition okay and distributed um, to operate multiple on multiple nodes okay for distributed computing okay and data set okay mean records of data so it can work with uh, uh, external data okay and in a format just like JSON CSV and can connect to the database okay using the JDBC okay or anything like text file so there are three words here resilient distributed and uh, data set okay and um, we so we have to create the rdd okay in spark okay and then after that okay we can do uh, the data uh, transformation okay the data source okay from uh, the rdd okay can be from Hadoop okay, input format so that is for example like HDFS okay uh, and then after that we can use the command to parallelize our data set okay we can use a transformation on our data set okay and we can you uh, perform some method and actions okay to our RDD okay so action means okay we're gonna force uh, to calculate uh, the value okay because uh, the spark operate on lazy operation just like uh, just uh, what we talked before okay nothing will be compute until the action function okay uh, is called okay um, the RDD uh, will be good for application okay that uh, apply the same operation okay, to our elements in the data set okay so it will if you want to apply okay normally um, you want to do something with the array a uh, large uh, number of data you do the you do the same operation so that will work okay so here are some example of the scala program okay that will use in uh, in the in the um that we will use in uh, the example and command lines okay and here are some example of the python okay that we also uh, uh will be uh, try on okay here are the li example list of the transformation okay so that call map filter union intersection distinct join okay and we can look through uh, it, okay later on okay in the programming guide okay and then for the action okay only important part is reduce collect okay uh, count okay you can uh, call the action and then it will uh, perform some calculation for you so note this is uh, the what to remind action cause calculations to be performed okay transformation just setting up next is um some uh details on uh, uh, persistent okay of rdd okay you can use persistent cache okay on rdd so we cache data okay and uh when we mean the, what we mean by the caching is the node will store partition of the data okay that it used to compute and can we use it okay so um, future action will be uh, much faster because it's in cache and uh, we can mark rdd to be persist using persist uh, function or cache okay method on it okay for the first time it will uh, keep in the cache and then uh, later on we can use it again and again so that will be fast cache is fault tolerance okay and 
you can also call and persist ma uh, manu un manually. Here I another example of the Python. Okay, we can try on. Okay, same thing on the Scala example. Okay. And you can also uh, use Java okay, also to interface it. So um, Spark is very uh, flexible. So ima imagine there are three languages here. But uh, there are some little difference uh, on these three languages. Okay, as uh, if you are familiar with, you're gonna know that. Okay, there are some features that is can be used in um, Python. Okay, uh, for all the languages, but there are some limitation also. Okay, there are some feature uh, you can use only in Scala. Okay, so we can look to in the manual. Okay, and see. Okay, but most of the cases uh, is cover okay for all for for uh, for all three languages. Here are data frame information different between data frame and data set. Okay, so data frame is uh, we organize data in columns. Okay, and you can distribute uh, the collection of data. Okay, um, uh, in the data frame. Okay, it's allow uh, the distribution. Okay, for the data set is the extension extension of data frame. Okay, so um, another thing on these are the issue on the language. Okay, for example, like for typing, uh, we know that Python is um, uh, uh. Is a kind of script language, so it does not support the compile time uh, type check. Okay, but Scala and Java okay is support the compile time uh, type checking. So here are the libraries on the Spark. Okay, that uh, you can um you uh, you can look through, and we're gonna export this. Okay, later. Yeah, performance comparison uh, for the Spark okay, compared to the Hadoop in the past just to show that uh, it faster okay, than uh, MapReduce Hadoop okay, traditionally okay, so that is the good part okay, on the Spark okay, normally faster but uh, the drawback is we process the data in memory uh, and that is the reason why it well performed the map reduce okay but you may have to make sure that uh, you have enough memory okay and programming is easy so let's start uh, from uh, now uh, with the example on the spark shell okay the example on the spark shell here we have a data set okay uh, from auction uh, data so it is obtained from this website okay i uh, made the example uh, obtained example from the website here okay, to make uh, give you some idea of using uh, the spark shell okay so the data set auction data okay is um it's contained the field auction id bit id okay bit time bit the uh, bit rate okay it's uh, ebay uh, bidding data open bid price item the format of data is something like this so now let's get to our uh, system okay we're gonna go to suha Hadoop, and then after that can okay, you get the data set using this uh, command okay so it's a data set in the, in the github and you also uh, need to okay uh, make the folder okay uh, called um, uh, spark data okay in your head dfs and then okay, after you obtain the auction data we're gonna put the data on that uh, HDFS and then we start our spark shell okay so start off with uh, using uh, the command for reading the text file which is a csv file okay uh, read the data into the variable called auction data okay so that is uh, the command we are going to start off okay because I have done the uh, copying okay and making the directory already
so that is the reading okay uh, so it's the kind of mapping a transformation get the first okay uh, data okay that is the first row so you can check your data So here are some auction data. So you want to count. So we can count the number of data. So here is also action. You want to see the data, you can use a command show. Okay. So that is top 20 rows. Okay. You can also uh, take uh, randomly take uh, three elements. So that is three rows uh, randomly taken. You can do some uh, filter, for example, getting only the line content with box, and see how many uh, Xbox okay people uh, have been bidding. Okay, so that is a uh, two thousand uh, seven hundred record. Okay, or palm. So you can see all these data with a box. Okay. So we read the data into the data frame. We have to have uh, the heading. So uh, we convert it into the column format. So that heading will correspond to the uh, the format here. So that is uh, uh, example. So we can say. Um, Let's do some uh, filter. So here are some example using filter. You can see now I'm in the table format. And here are the example of writing the result in other format. Okay. I have done it so I have to change the name okay but if you don't uh, you can also uh, use this one but I have done it okay. so you can actually see the result in the Hadoop file system uh, in JSON file here is uh, the Xbox oh, sorry so let's see uh, so here is the uh, part so these are the JSON format okay, where you can use it <laughs> okay, um, later on 
so here is the example okay of the overview okay so we read the data okay um, we map okay using um, uh, uh, the text file okay read the data to the data set okay and then um, we perform the transformation okay so that is the the loop okay for the transformation and the data set okay reading and then um, the action okay is called okay for example like cow first okay and then you see the value okay so let's see some of the uh, uh, programming uh, guide okay so i have a list of uh, programming uh, guide okay for you for this uh, web page okay so you can browse to so here is an example of the scala uh, program okay and um, we can uh, try the spark example first okay because uh, for the scala we will have to use the um, the the interpreter of uh, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the compiler for the Scala, so we uh, simply start for the Spark. Spark, okay, we going to in invoke it using the Py Spark. There are two way to invoke. Okay, you can invoke it through the port. Okay, so in case it is remote. Okay, or in terms of local, we gonna start off using uh, this command. Start off using for call. So we exit here and then we start with our PySpark so you're gonna see the Python prompt and then okay um, let's go to example skip for here okay we have the file let's say i put the file name called it this okay and put it in the root of hdfs okay i have done that you can see hdfs here is the file release and um, we have some python prompt you can also do the command line okay say so we can try with the command uh, uh, interactive uh, for the PySpark first okay since uh, we are using the interactive uh, command uh, we need to we will create the spark contact automatically so we need to uh, stop the spark contact first okay so we stop get the spark contact and then now we uh, can uh, try from pi spark import spark contact and then uh, set up the log file then read the file okay now perform the transformation and action okay and print here okay so you can also um, Uh, do the command line okay using spark submit so we do the program here okay I copy the program here and then we're gonna run spark submit it create the spark contact okay and do uh, the transformation for for you okay we sprint out here okay so you can also try the Java example at uh, this portion. So you suppose that uh, you are going to download the 
data set from here okay and uh, under spark shell okay doing some reading data so here are a little uh, complicated so i have to uh, separate out the line okay but um, you just make sure that um, you have to make sure that uh, you read the format the column correctly Down all the columns here and read the CSV file. Then suppose that do some simple query. Okay. So get some data here of the bank um, credit data. So in this homework, uh, after you download the bank and the CSV, here are information about the uh, the data set. Okay, it has a feature on the, the client. Okay, which is about, for example, job manager, data education. Uh, the balance, uh, they put the balance in the bank, uh, loan housing. Um, also, the feature about the campaign, okay, the, um, the campaign that uh, introduced uh, to the to the customer, to the client. For example, the contact type, the duration, the last duration uh, uh, of, uh, on, of of the of uh, the the last uh, contact duration, and the day, month, and the com campaign a few which tells about the number of contact attempts uh, performed for this campaign uh, and deposit okay, is a uh, yes or no so this field is uh, uh, to let you know that the client uh, buy uh, the campaign or not if yes mean the client uh, buy the campaign no mean the client uh, does not buy the campaign about the previous contact and previous campaign okay so that is previous day number of days that passed okay after the client was last contact from the previous campaign um, also uh, the outcome of the previous uh, marketing uh, campaign okay so I have some example of reading the data uh, say that I have done I have shown you okay here are some key simple query and what I ask you to do is uh, you try to write uh, the uh, spark uh, uh, scala okay using uh, to, to answer these uh, following questions okay so the uh, first one is the average uh, the eight range okay that uh, uh, for the client uh, uh, that has a balance more than uh, 5,000 um, second one is the number of contact okay perform average number of contact performed before the client decided to buy uh, the, the term okay and uh, the last one is uh, trying to see the important characteristic of uh, uh, the that affect the decision uh, of the client okay so those are the uh, the three the main three questions that I ask you to do in uh, spark uh, Scala uh, interactive uh, script okay and I will put down the submission okay instruction in the website